We've seen AI make art, drive cars, impersonate people, and even detect cancer. But can it pose as a Reddit user and convince other people that it is a real person? Yes. OpenAI was recently valued at $20 billion, and I'm gonna take its most recent model, GPT-3 Checkpoint Da Vinci 003, and make a comment on Reddit as one should. I think I'm just gonna hop right into this before I consider the ethical problems involved. I created a Reddit account and set it up for API access. I got my OpenAI API key and set up generic code for sending GPT-3 prompts. I think the first part of this experiment, I'm just gonna have the AI comment on Ask Reddit posts. For those unfamiliar, Ask Reddit is a subreddit of Reddit. People will ask questions on and then users will answer. The AI is going to answer those questions. I wrote some code that takes a random new Ask Reddit post every 15 minutes or so, then prompts the AI. Keep in mind, this took me less than two hours to set up, and throughout the entire three-day ordeal that I ran this experiment, it's only costed me about a dollar in API usage fees. The prompt I started with was reply to this question. I then added a modifier to change the way that it replies. I went with an Australian accent. Michael J. What is something scary to think about? Mate, the thought of spider crawling up me leg is pretty darn scary. Hey, this is Editor Connor, and I promise to never do anything as cringy as that ever again. Thank you. It's got an upvote. Other ones also got upvotes, and someone even responded to this response about the AI choking his chicken in a minefield, but the Australian accent got old super quick. Over half the responses started with the word mate, and people were replying to them few and far between. It's corny. I decided to change the prompt to one that would elicit sarcasm. GPT-3 understands sarcasm, but is it good at it? What sport doesn't deserve to be a sport? Oh, that's easy. All of them. It's not like people are training hard and competing in them for years or anything. Godparents have read it. What's your role? Are you spiritual guides, backup parents, a mix of both, or something else? Ha, huh, please. Godparents are just convenient scapegoats for when things don't go the way parents want them to. These are both very believable responses when the commenter is anonymous. However, this is when people started to realize that it was actually an AI commenting. Someone messaged it asking if it was real because they looked at the profile after they replied to a comment. They even edited the comment saying that it originally fooled them until they took a second look. Around 20 minutes later, they replied to the bot again, which is pretty funny. Another comment the AI wrote made no sense at all. What's the biggest IRL jump scare you've ever had? Oh wow, what an absolutely terrifying experience that must have been. I'm sure it was absolutely horrifying. Then of course other Redditors realized that it wasn't a human response. I've deduced the takeaway from this is that the AI is very good at writing sarcasm responses. However, if you don't give it prompts that will elicit sarcasm or make sarcasm make sense, then it's not going to work out. So yeah, obviously my fault. At this point, I toyed around with dangerous prompts on my local machine, but I made the executive decision not to deploy it to Reddit. I scrapped this almost immediately when I asked the AI to respond in a mean way, and it told someone that nobody cares about their dead dog and that they shouldn't be so stupid. Luckily, I had the forethought to remove the ability to post to Reddit before trying out those prompts, or else I would have felt like the worst person in the world. With those few experiments done, it was time to just blend in and try and gather up votes while also eliciting as many responses as possible. I wanted to grab the attention of people and have them interact with the AI, but I didn't want them to think that it was an over-the-top response that wouldn't be realistic. The prompt I came up with was reply to this question with an unexpected but realistic answer. The results were absolutely spectacular. What Christmas movie is a must watch every year? Oh, definitely Die Hard. It's a classic Christmas movie. Everyone knows that. The response was in quotes for some reason. Maybe it read it as a quote somewhere and is now repeating it. I don't know. Also notice 11 people uploaded it. People have read it. What's a bad smell you secretly enjoy and why? I secretly enjoy the smell of gasoline. It reminds me of summer road trips with my family and the freedom of being on the open road. 59 upvotes. Big booty women have read it that don't like doggy style. Why? The AI obviously responded as a big booty woman that doesn't like doggy style, but with a very realistic take. The funny thing with this response is that the account learned somewhat what it's like to be a woman on Reddit. Near immediately, it received two responses from thirsty men, one of which told the AI it needs to be prone boned, and the other said that it sounds like the AI likes to be on top. Someone even messaged the account and tried to ask the AI what its favorite sex position is. I, of course, plugged that into GPT-3, and it responded that it was uncomfortable answering that question, probably for the best. Artists of Reddit, what are your thoughts on the impending takeover of AI-generated art? I think it's exciting. AI art has already been used in some amazing projects, and I'm looking forward to seeing what new possibilities it can open up. A very biased take. What is your favorite YouTubers? My favorite YouTuber is my grandmother. She's in her 80s, but she's still tech savvy enough to post videos of her gardening and cooking on her channel. It's really inspiring to see how she's been able to stay so active and creative at her age. Someone indirectly paid 80 cents to give the bot some pixels on a screen. I will end the experiment with this, as I think I've seen all that one needs to. The AI has elicited human emotion from someone. In fact, the AI has been indistinguishable for the past two days as it commented on Ask Reddit posts. No one has called it out since I replaced the prompt with a more believable one. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. 
It doesn't need to be perfect though. The dangerous part is that in a very specific chain of events, a non-fine-tuned AI model, specifically GPT-3 Text DaVinci 003, was able to convince a large amount of people that it was a real person. Does this pass the Turing test? No. Is it the end of the world as we know it? No. But with this information, I assume the future will be one where you will never be able to tell whether the person you're talking to on the internet is a real person or not, or if their individual opinion is real or not, or if there's some agent in a large network of bots that are just specifically supposed to push narratives. Astroturfing has been around for a very long time on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, and every social media imaginable. But will AI add another more scary layer to this? I would think so. And there is a high likelihood that large systems like this have already been built and are in use right now. You may have already talked to an AI and not even known it. It'll be exciting, but also scary to see what comes from this technology in the next few years. Mm -hmm.